In this video, we're going to be going over the installation of the lift kit on your Mini or Mini Pro. Um, this is what it looks like when you get it. It's a pretty heavy box, so be aware. Um, first step, you're going to want to just trim this tape or, you know, slice the tape all the way around. You get ready to open. Then you've got these red-orange staples on each side. Just pull slightly, be aware that they are sharp. So when you pull this box top off, you'll have some sharp staples poking out that you wanna make sure you don't get cut on. There's staples on either on each side. And you gotta pop out a little bit. And then this box top comes off. Inside the box, it all nicely packed here. You'll see you've got your instructions or your link to instructions and other videos along with some bolts and tools that you will need for the installation. And then as we get in here, we have these mounting brackets. There's two of those. One for each end. got the legs, four of these, two for each end, and then finally we've got these cross braces, two of these, one for each one for each end. And that is everything that you need from the box. All right, so if you have ordered the lift kit, but you already have a Mini or Mini Pro that you have assembled, you will need to partially disassemble it before installing a lift kit. So in order to do that, we're gonna be removing the handles and partially disassembling the platform um, on both ends. So to start, we'll take the handles off. First step there, lift up your platform and then remove the three bolts, one here, one here, and one here on both sides to take your handles off. That's one side removed. Now both these handles are removed, set those aside. Now we're going to partially disassemble this platform. We're going to be disconnecting this top, folding it forward, disconnecting the spring to give us access. Um, so first step is to remove the stop bolts, one on each side. And this bolt comes out, let this stop drop out, repeat for the other side. All right, now we're going to, hopefully, you have these clips from when you originally installed the platform. Let me get these ready. We are going to pull this lever, slide this guy forward, hang your clips in their positions, and then let that slide forward and pop the arm out disconnect this spring, set the arm down. You're ready to uh, move forward, repeat this on the opposite end. So both ends disassembled to this point um, and you are ready to move forward to install your lift kit. Again, just removing these stops. And the other side. Now, you're ready to tilt this forward, release it, hang your guy there, and on the other side, let it slide forward, 
pop that out, disconnect the spring, there you go. So now that you got your platform all up, the final step is to remove these two securing bolts down there, one and two. Now we go and do the other side, same thing. All right, so now we are going to install your lift kit. Uh, we are all prepped. We've got our platforms lifted, our springs disengaged. The next step is to flip your mini onto its side. You're probably gonna want help with that. So grab a friend and go ahead and just tip your mini up. It will support itself just fine on its side. There we go. Next step is to remove these feet. So we have four nuts, two here, two here, and four bolts that we're gonna be removing. So if you grab your kit that came with your uh, lift kit, you've got this 10 millimeter wrench. We're gonna go ahead and remove These we will not be reusing, so you can set them aside and discard them. Again, for these nuts, you'll wanna support them with your finger to make sure that they stay engaged while you disconnect the nut. There you go. Now we can remove this whole foot bracket. Set that aside, you won't be reusing that. And we will move on to removing this foot. Again, just four bolts. Use your Allen wrench. You won't be needing that. And now we are going to install the bracket for your lift kit. So this is the bracket for your lift kit. We have 10 holes total. You've got four holes here, which correspond to these four. You've got two holes here that are threaded that correspond to these holes. You come in from the top. And then you also have these four holes here, which are also threaded. So we are going to slide this guy into place where we removed those other feet. You'll slide it in so that you can see your holes are aligned here. Boom, boom. Your holes are aligned down below. Same point. Boom, boom. You've got hole alignment here, 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 and here. And a key step is gonna be to start all of these bolts before you fully tighten anything down to make sure that the bracket goes into place. We've got a, quite a few bolts here. One bolt, and just get it in there with your fingers. These started with your fingers so that we can maintain alignment as we move forward before we tighten anything down. And then we've got two more. We're gonna go from the other side. Again, we're just starting these bolts. Great, now we're gonna go back and tighten everything down. So we'll do it right in the same order that we did before. Everything nice and snug, all the way tight. These ones on the bottom.
sure these ones are all right now we move and do the exact same thing on the other end so again we're going to start by removing all these nuts moving on to the bottom again support with your finger Pull that guy out, discard. Now we're moving on, removing these bolts. We can discard this foot and we're going to install the other bracket, same as the other side. So again, we're gonna slide this into place and work to align all these holes. So we're gonna start all of these bolts in their homes before we tighten them down. Starting with these on the side. Line up your holes. Start the bolts. Move on to the bottom of the machine here. Again, we're just gonna start them and not tighten them down until we have them all started. Go. And the last two from the top. Now that we've got all of these bolts started, we're gonna work our way around and tighten them down. Final two from the inside. All right, so the next step is for us to set this machine back down, right back down, watch your toes. Make sure your clips are still engaged. All right, so each end has a leg that's made up of three pieces, one center bracket, and then your legs on either side. So basically, or I should say basically, it is very simple to put these together. Just slide into the slot on one side, slide into the slot on the other side, and then we're gonna take this and set it back here in order to get ready to set the machine on it. We're gonna do this one end at a time. We'll slide both of these brackets together and have them ready, but we will lift and install each end separately for safety. All right. So the best way to do it is to have your friend come back. We'll have one person lift the machine and the other person slide the feet under so that these slots here match up with these slots here on either side and it'll slide right into place. <laughs> so now that we've got our legs assembled, we're gonna do one end at a time. We'll start with the front. We're gonna push this carriage all the way to the back so we don't have to lift it up. Pick up the machine, one end, align the legs with their homes and set it into place. Thing on the other end, so we will select a spring here so that it supports the carriage. Same thing on the other side. Have your friend come help. Lift up one end of the end of the machine. Set it into place. Now that it's up, we're going to install four bolts from the bottom to locate it into place. So we've got four bolts, one, two, three, four that we're gonna be installing up from the bottom. Again, we're also going to start these bolts before we finish tightening them down. So we'll go through, start four bolts. Tighten them all the way down. Okay. 
and then we'll repeat that for the other side. So again, we've got our four bolts. We're good and square here. One. Four. All right. Now the next step is to reassemble your platforms. Your springs may have come loose from flipping everything all topsy-turvy. It's pretty easy to put them back. You just slide these guys into their home there, and then you flip this up just as you would normally. Again, make sure your wheels all the way to the outside. Go ahead and pop that sucker in there. Now we're going to disengage or re-engage this guy. Can Remove your clips. Reinstall your stops. Now this end is fully reassembled. You can move on, same thing on the other end. And now your lift kit is fully assembled.